from Vietnam to Van Gogh, it's been some journey for Army veteran John Melillo of Eastport. Painting for me was a third act in my life. It was like a rebirth. Melillo, who served in Vietnam in 1971-72, says he couldn't paint a straight line 10 years ago, but decided he had to go to school to learn how to create and cope. Just so important and so therapeutic to put something down and create and see it come to life. Now Melillo's work is shown in galleries and he wants to share the healing power of painting with other veterans. I found uh, a healing. You know, PSD is something that you just don't cure. You have to learn how to deal with it. At the Beyond Van Gogh immersive experience at the Samania Mall in Westbury, John Melillo has invited some Long Island military veterans to feel peace through a paintbrush. It was rough. During the initial invasion, the war was rough. Donna Zephyrin of Bayshore served nearly two years in Iraq. Painting, she says, is therapeutic. I feel like I find peace, pleasure, like I'm in a different world. I, have to, I don't have to worry about my, my problems or worries as far as my PTSD. I'm more relaxed. Sadly, the therapeutic powers of painting did not always reach Van Gogh, who led a troubled life and committed suicide at age 37. Diego was always a struggle. He's always on a dark side, trying to work to the light. And that's going to be actually the subject matter that we're going to, we're going to work with. Sitting down in front of an easel and creating one's own inner vision is a great escape and then some. And I'm just happy that I ran into this major problem in my life and was able to come up with some sort of a solution. And hopefully I'll be able to give that back to other people. The Art of Healing. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.